Hey guys, welcome back to my AC Milan career mode. Today, we are going to try and finish off the transfer window. And as you know, in the last episode, we found out that Roma have overtaken Juventus. They are now top of the league. We're in third, six points behind Juventus, seven points behind Roma, yet we are still unbeaten. We rescued a point in our last game against Torino. They looked really good, by the way. They didn't exactly play brilliantly in that second half I was able to get back in and really dominate them but in the first half they shocked me they were they were very impressive I think they probably will get into that top five but as things stand we're level on points with Inter Milan and we cannot afford to drop any more points right now we need to be staying above them so we're going to start with some training here Kessie hit 78 last time so we're going to go ahead and take him out we'll keep Andre Silva and the Rez in there for now who else can we bring in so no strikers. I don't think I want to do any of my wingers. Maybe Niang. We could do Niang at some point. Maybe not Sanchez because he's on loan. It's kind of a rule I've got. Only train loan players if they are, you know, potential players that you want to sign in the future. But they'd be more expensive. It's kind of counterintuitive. And he's 78 already. So I don't think I need to worry. Maybe Locatelli. Uh, maybe Romagnoli. Maybe Diop. Um... Maybe I bring in De Chiglio. I, I don't know. Maybe Donnarumma. I think what I'm going to do now is maybe do Romagnoli. He is, he's a key part of this team. I'd rather he was even better. So looks like he might actually grow in his marking and his stand tackling right now anyway. Maybe the other slot we could go with Locatelli. Maybe we'll improve his defending as well. So let's go ahead and do one on two defending. I mean, he's, he's still definitely a plan. You know, he's a future player for us. He's in the plans. Let's see if we can get him to 80 by the end of the season. Um, actually, that was a very successful week. Look at that. A lot of them have actually grown a little bit there. So that's good to see. We've got three emails at the moment. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. So Atlanta, they want 37 and a half million for Gomez. And Lazio only want his value? What? This game is just its just weird, isn't it? It's completely weird. He's younger, he's better, he's got more potential, yet they're willing to let him go to a rival for just his value. But I, I can't complain. We're going to go ahead and do the deal because that's just insane. Um, to try and sweeten the deal, I think I'm going to give him 10% bonus per goal. Four years on, on the contract. Crucial first team player. I mean, now that Delefeo is not going to be here next season, I kind of feel like I should be getting him in the first team instead, you know, and really trying to push him as far as we can. So we're not going to be going for Gomez. Maybe we'll go for him in a different career mode. But Atlanta have accepted 10.5 million for Conti. So that's pretty decent. We'll go in with the 40,000 euros that he wants. Um, we'll go with four years and we'll go with squad rotation player. I'm hoping he will accept that because, of course, when Florenzi is fit, he will not be playing. Florenzi will be. So that's just the way it is. Anyway, our next game is Napoli, but it's in the cup. Um, Campbell, we're not interested in the player. I'm not really interested in going for him, actually, to be honest. And Bilbao have accepted 9.5 million for Paletta, so we've got some more funds coming in. But as I was saying, Napoli in the quarterfinals of the Italian Cup. It'd be great to get a win over them. We get a transfer offer for Bertolacci. Okay, I'm not really using Bertolacci at the moment, but is he a player that is, is quite useful to have in the squad? Um, I think he is. I don't think we need to let him go. We've already got a lot of money. We can always put him up for sale if at some point we don't need him. But there's, there, it seems to be silly just to sell someone for money when you don't need the money, right? But it looks like we're going to get into the Napoli game before we get Keita, maybe. Are we? Okay, so we're not going to get Keita right before this match. But we are going to get Conti. And we've barely spent any money on him. 10 million is nothing for a great player. We'll go ahead and get him in. Campbell's scout report is done. New signing arriving, so we'll go ahead and give him a game. I think he can play this match against Napoli um, and give him his debut on his basically on his first few days. And actually, we are going to get Keita. Look at that. It's done. Wow, wasn't cheap, of course, around 30 million euros, but that's a big signing. That really is. We're going to go ahead and put him straight in the team. Delefeo will still play a part for the rest of this season, but like I said, it just makes sense to get Keita into the team, doing it right now, early from the start. And uh, maybe even throw him into training right now. Let's see if maybe Norez is going to hit 78. I think we'll wait till Norez hits 78 and then we'll bring Keita in. So let's do another simulation here. Are we going to get some good results? We kind of are. 
not great. I think Locatelli and Romagnoli did well there. Nerez still isn't 78, which is kind of annoying. Um, but let's just get into the game. Two new debuts against Napoli in the Italian League. Italian Cup, sorry. Let's do this. And there he is, our new signing, Keita. He's going to be so, so good down this left wing. Equally as good as Delefeu. Maybe even better because he's got that, you know, slight physicality, you know, advantage, I would say. But Napoli are not going to be easy to play against. They do have such a strong squad. Look at that midfield, man. Hamzik, Jorginho, Diawara. I mean, they've got some really good defenders as well. This is going to be a tough game, but I've gone with my strongest team. Baka is up front. Keita makes his debut on the left. Bonaventura, you know, hero from the last game, got us that one point. And of course, we have Conti at right back making his debut today. So we'll see how he gets on. Let's see if we can just make a really good start. We'll put Cater in. He's number 10 at the moment. Should I keep him number 10? I think I might, you know, it looks kind of cool. And actually, we're through already here. Rodriguez. Oh my God, back is in. Wow. I was just about to shoot. Lovely. They just got a touch on it as it's, as it's you know, kind of left my boot. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? And nothing comes from the corner. And now his backer will put Suso in. Where's Keita? Get in the box, dude. We're going to have to give it in to backer instead. Oh, my God. I got so lucky there. What's it going to be? A free kick? I didn't even see what happened there. But we've got a free kick in a good position. I'm actually going to aim for Keita at the back post. Or maybe Nzonzi will get there instead. It is going to be Keita. Wins the header, but it's, yeah, a slightly off target. Chance here for Conti to show me what he's about. Oh, dear. I may have slid in a little bit early there, but luckily we get away with it. And now we're on the break once again. Here's Keita. Nice bit of skill. Just a fake shot. Very simple. But now this is where he shines. Just destroying people on the wings. Let's see if we can get a cross in. Oh, wow. it's a good ball. Here's Suso. Try and get him on his left foot. Shoot. Man, Suso shooting. I might need to work on that. It happens a lot, doesn't it? Where I shoot on his, his strong foot and it just goes wide every time. Oh my god, what a tackle. And back is through. He should have the pace to get through. Can he score though? No, Patricio. Damn it, man. <laughs> I just can't get any luck today, can I? Or yesterday. I just, I just felt like I couldn't score yesterday either. And there's another chance gone as well. Just before half time, here come Napoli again. It's Insigne. I've slid in. Again, I've missed the tackle, but at least I've pushed him wide. That's good. Now here's Gulam. He's got a wicked cross on him, but he's going to play it back. That might be it. Blow the whistle, ref. Go on. Oh, no. Hamzik gets the shot away. No, they're going to get a corner. Damn it, man. Isn't that annoying when that happens? You think the referee could blow the whistle, and then instead they just puncture your defence. Anyway, corner comes in. Oh, no. Milik's there. He hits the side netting. Okay, that's the end of the first half. Pretty close right now. So far, the second half has been dominated by Napoli. They've just got the corner in. Another shot comes in. They've made a change. Zielinski's come on. But luckily, nothing has come from that. Have we got an injury? Oh, no. Romagnoli's picked up an injury. Okay, we're going to have to make a change and maybe bring on Diop. Um, but for now, let's see if we can get on the break. Let's see if we can pass that out to Suso. Nope, never mind. It went to Kessie instead for some reason. Yes, Keita. What a tackle. And now we try and get him through over the top, maybe. Or Suso. Either one. He could be still in there. Oh, man. It's just another chance gone. Don't concede now. Yes, good tackle. By the way, it looks like Romagnoli's okay. He's not injured anymore. So I'm going to keep the team as it is for now. We are into injury time. Just two minutes and we've got a free kick. This could be huge. It could be nothing. I think I'm going to have to just dink it in, aren't I? Can't really shoot from 38 yards. Let's see if we can get someone on the end of it. Ah, was not good enough. I think that's going to be it. Ah, so annoying. Nil, nil. I've saved all of my subs just in case this was the case. So I'm going to bring on Sanchez. I'm going to bring on maybe Nerez. Let's bring on Nerez and Andre Silva. So basically, I'm making three offensive changes i think napoli they've used two of their subs i think so it could be that actually i'm gonna have a huge advantage here just having fresh legs you know but here comes hamzik this isn't good yes romagnoli's done really well give it to sanchez yes still got it give it to sanchez or andre silva just someone kate has made a run oh what a ball what a ball sanchez is in the middle please this is it his first touch score Oh my god, another chance. Maybe I should have just kept running with Keita. I don't know. We've still got it. 
Go on, Cater. Go, 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 go. Go on, get there. <laughs> he just got held up. Here's Balde again. He goes inside. And he's inside again. That's a penalty. Come on, Cater. Oh, man, that is huge. We need to score it, though. I, Like I said, I've been practicing my penalties. I'm feeling confident, but you just never know, do you? It's a definite penalty from Maggio there. Poor tackle. Now, Andre Silva. Let's go top right corner. Just, just unreal. You just couldn't write this, could you? I've actually missed the penalty. Corner comes in. Nerez couldn't quite win it. We've kept it in, though. Let's keep running here. Bonaventure has done well. Just try and get across in. Go on. Oh, I think that's going to be half time of extra time. I can't believe I've missed that penalty. If I lose this now, I am going to be just deflated. Please, not now. Oh, no. Okay. Thankfully, it's straight to the keeper. Let's throw this out really fast now to Keita. Just turn. Give it to Andre Silva, maybe. It's all right. Still got that. Nice. Now back to Keita. All right. This could be a good opportunity. I'm just going to use his, his pace here. Okay. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to go on the ground. Go on. Oh, my God. Nerez picks it up. Oh, that was not meant to be a shot. A ah, couple of minutes to go. I've had the upper hand, but right now... It seems like Napoli have more men forward. Well, actually, I don't know. It feels like we just don't have any defenders back there. Repositioning now, but I don't think we're going to have any time, guys. I need to win the ball now. It's only one minute of added time, and it looks like it's going to go to penalties. Oh, no. All right, they're giving it to me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. No! It was 2v1. This game, I swear. Okay, we're going to penalties. Look how close it's been. Three shots on target each. But I've missed a penalty. Okay, looks like I've generally got better penalty kick takers. It's, a, it's quite even in fairness, but it looks like Napoli are going to be starting off first. It's Jorginho, is it? Okay, I'm going to go top left here. Top left, top left. Bottom left. Damn it. Okay, uh, I'm going to go bottom right here. I mean, it was a good penalty. It was just a really good save. I'm going to stay down the middle here. Oh, oh, he's missed. It came off the post. I thought it went in. Okay, Andre Silva. Um, oh, top left. Get a bit of power on it. This game, I swear, it knows. It just knows where I'm going. They're cheating. <laughs> They're absolutely cheating. Bottom left. Oh, he's gone to the right. You cheeky bagger. Oh, it's so annoying. Top left. No, top right. Changing my mind. Probably not a good idea. Oh, what a pen. Norez in off the post. Okay. I've still got a chance. I just need to save this, ideally. Let's go top right. Oh! My God. I, I thought that was in. What a save, Donnarumma. I'm actually going to go down the middle for this one. Oh, no. Yes, okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Come on. If I save this, I'm going to be very, very pleased. Come on. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not moving. Staying down the middle. Oh, it went in off the bar. Oh, man. Okay, I have to score. I have to score. I'm going top left. Yes. Okay, it wasn't really top left. I got nervous as I was pressing down on the power. I didn't want to overhit it. Pressure is on Insigne right now. He kind of needs to score this. I'm going to go bottom left corner. Yes, I've gone the right way. Come on. Come on. So many of you were doubting me just a moment ago. And now I've got a chance to win it. And I'm going to Penenka it down the middle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've done it. Keita Balde. Come on. Oh, wow. We're through to the semi-finals. That game was horrendous. And the penalties were awful as well. But I will take it. Thank you, Keita. What a debut. And in the other quarterfinal, Juventus and Lazio drew one all. But, of course, Juventus have gone through. And up next, we have Inter, Udinese, Roma and Sassuolo. So it looks like, technically, based off that, I'm going to be playing Juventus in the semi-finals. But, of course, it might not be the case. Now, let's have a look what's going on in the transfer window. Hopefully, something big. I want to be able to make some more signings. I want to be able to... Do I, I just love the transfer window. I really do. Perrin shocks Genoa with transfer requests. Well, if I was selling Donnarumma, that's who I'd be going with. Transfer offer for Kessie. No thank you. Barcelona can uh, leave him well alone. 
And we also have an offer for Bonaventura. Roma, no. No, no, no. No chance. He's worth almost 40 million, according to my chief executive. So, and uh, there you go. Paletta has been sold. That is good news. Got a few emails. Eli wants to play more. Sanchez was happy about playing. He did really well, in fairness, when he came on. I know I didn't start him, but he did do well. Okay, let's continue here. One email. And it's a transfer offer for Masaccio. Everton, no chance. Absolutely no chance for selling Masaccio. He's been really good since joining. Really, really pleased. So let's go in the, the short list and let's see what we can make do with three, four days to go. Campbell, Dembele, Gomez. Right, we're not going for Gomez. We don't need him anymore. Do I go for Dembele? Do I actually need someone like Dembele? I don't think I do right now because I think I've decided unless I get a big offer for Baka, I'm not selling him. Campbell, I, again, I just don't think I need him right now. If I get Campbell, where does he go? I guess he goes here instead of Kessie, but I really like Kessie. He doesn't really fit on the bench. I guess what I could do is, you know, maybe sell Sosa and get him instead as a backup, but... Again, I, I just I don't think I need to do it. I really don't. So I think I'm going to leave it for now. And to be honest, with four days to go, or five days, whatever it is, I think I'm going to leave it here. I think what I'll do is I'll let you guys give me some feedback. Tell me if there's any changes you think I should make to the team with just a couple of days to go. We've got that game against Udinese. We should be okay to play that and win that. And then it'll be the end of the window. So yeah, that's been an interesting episode. We've made some changes to the squad. We've got... Keita and Conti playing their first games. Keita was just phenomenal. Cannot wait to use him some more. But thank you for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like rating. Make sure you subscribed, and I will see you next time.